ladies and gentlemen from Harlem, please give it up for Heather Apostolidis. Brother Eric. I am Greek, but I'm only half Greek, which means I can only tolerate one finger up my butt. <laughs> Maybe two after a shower. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's crazy. Um, you know, there's so many Greek stereotypes, you know, and um, I dated this guy, and after we had sex, he said, I was really nervous to have sex with you because you're Greek, and I thought, well, <laughs> Why, you know? And he said, you know, because Greeks are really hairy, and I thought you would be really hairy down there. And I said, wow, I, you're such a dick. I thought it would be bigger down there. Yeah. You know, ladies, I get a Brazilian, um, just like you guys do, I hope. Um, it's just that I have to get mine three times a week. Yeah. You know, um, I don't really do that anymore. I'm in a relationship. Yeah, yeah. He's actually here tonight. He's Mexican. Um, I like to say half Mexican um, because my parents actually like that better. Um, and um, he's, <laughs> he's here, but you know, he's not working in the back. He's, <laughs> he's taller than me, you know. <laughs> Not like your typical Mexican. And he's sort of like a Corona, slightly watered down. You know? So uh, we moved to Harlem. Anyone from Harlem? Okay, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, this is actually, this happened to me. A couple of weeks ago, I went into the bodega and I was mistaken for a black chick. And um, you know, I, the guy was drunk and pee stained, but it doesn't matter. I felt like I was part of the community. You know, like I felt like I belonged. I was very touched. Literally, he was touching me everywhere. <laughs> but uh, yeah, you know, there's that one word that you're not supposed to say that I hear on the streets all the time in my neighborhood. But now I feel like I've earned it, so I'm just gonna say the word. So I don't know if you wanna close, cover your ears, but it's gentrification. <laughs> gentrification, don't ask me to spell it. Um, I moved to Harlem to avoid the five syllable words. You know, um, it's crazy, it's really crazy, but I, but I love it. Um, I'm actually what's wrong with my neighborhood in that definition. Um, but you know, to be honest, I didn't want him to call me out here tonight because I'm gonna be 40. So I'm like, my dream was not to live in Harlem. It was to um, live on another island, Long Island. I wanted a husband, I wanted kids and um, you know, things that didn't work out the way I wanted it to. But then I thought about it and I thought, you know, if I really wanted those things, I would have them. You know, those things, they take, there's a lot of work, a lot of multitasking and time management. All things I lie about on job interviews. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and also dressing my age. You know, it's like I go to thrift shops now because I figured if I dress like a 20 year old, you know, in 1950, maybe like it's okay. You know what I mean? I don't know if it's working, but you know. So where am I going with my act? <laughs> yeah, yes, it's crazy, it's crazy. So you know, even, even the holidays aren't the same when you get old. You know, there's always something that happens that gets totally fucked up. So my boyfriend and I were visiting his family in Florida, and we ended up, just like going to Newark Airport was a pain in the ass. You know, I didn't think we were gonna make it, our relationship. We fought the whole entire time. <laughs> now we're on the plane and he turns to me and this really happened. He said, you'll never guess who's on our flight. And I said, a real housewife? Like who? He said, you're close, my ex-wife, Amber. And I just like jolted up. I was looking down the aisles. I was on high Amber alert. <laughs> now we come face to face. And I'm thinking, what am I gonna say to her? So I said what anyone would say, the truth. I said, you know, my boyfriend, well, Jesse to her, he remembers my birthday because it actually falls on the same day as your wedding anniversary. 
And she looked at me, and she wasn't smiling, and she said, you know, I try and forget that day, and I'm going to try extra hard. Thank you. <laughs> so this year on my birthday, she sends me a sympathy card. So she hasn't forgotten, obviously. <laughs> you know, I was really upset about it, and I told my boyfriend, I said, listen, I'm, you know, I can't believe this is happening. He said, calm down. The reason why I'm with you is because you're like my mother. And then I thought, wow, that tramp. <laughs> his mother, guys, come on. His mother's been married three times and she has three kids from three different men. One's white, one's Hispanic. I don't even know what the other one is. And, um, but you know, then I thought about it, you know, because she's actually a lovely woman. I really do love her. And then I thought, you know, maybe on some parallel universe, we are the same. You know, I haven't been married three times but I have had three abortions. <laughs> I'm kidding, one was just a flush, I swear. So, thanks guys.